Hello, so purchased this off eBay. I got two Technics RS TR37. So started to diagnose um, a problem. They were both listed as not working. Um, mechanically, uh, doors were opening, um, played tapes backwards and forwards, but there was zero sound output from the device. So um, went through the um, board on the back, checked all of the connections, um, and yeah, tried all of the basic things, cleaning the heads uh, and all that kind of stuff. But then um, started to look at the back board of the device. So as you can see here, I've removed the board from the um, tape deck and started to test some of the components on the board. Um, I've got another one as well, um, which I'll put a video up of later, trying to diagnose the fault. Um, and what I found uh, was some damage to one of the capacitors, um, sorry, resistors, um, on the back of the board. Now, I don't know whether you can see that. I'm looking at this resistor here um, on the um, on the on the board. Um, there was a charred side to it. I'll try and get that better. Sorry, I've got a much better video camera than this. But um, when testing for um, continuity um, on the on the part. Um, then it it, it reads um, a zero, so there's no there's no bleep on the on the voltage tester. So uh, yeah, that was I feel maybe the fault. So um, I'm gonna have a go at soldering and replacing this um, resistor shortly. Um, trying to find the right one was a challenge, but um, I managed to find this company online, um, CPC.co.uk, um, and I found the resistor there. It was a um, 0.25 watt um, 27 ohm resistor. Um, and I got a pack of 50, um, not hopefully going into business doing this, um, for around um, 60p, I think, um, plus postage. I'll put the link in the bottom of the video. Um, so yeah, that's what I found with this. So I'm gonna replace the resistor um, with, with the same resistor, um, which I found online using the service manual. Again, I'll put the link in the bottom of the video. And yeah, we'll solder this replacement part on. Um, unsolder that one and solder it on and see if we have any sound coming out of the device. So that's the bit um, unsoldered there, sorry if you can focus a bit better on the camera, there we go. And there is the faulty component and you can see there on the left hand side the burn and um, the orange mark oh, just there. Um, and here is the new component so I'm just going to go and fix that in now. So new component in place, as you can see. Just going to trim off the tags at the bottom and we'll get it put back together. Just put the main board back in, um, just to show you where the screws go. So there's one here, um, one here, and one there, and then just one here. Um, the ribbons will just unclip, so that's really easy to take to pieces. Um, and then the actual main transformer, which is this thing, um, has pins. Um, which just slot into the connections down here. So it's just a case of undoing the screw um, and then clicking this back on again. Just thought I'd show you that quickly. Um, but yeah, quite easy to um, separate um, the components out while the screwing is finished. Okay, right, so we've put the um, board back in, as you can see. I forgot to connect the ribbon wires um, on first test to see if you had any power. Um, and you can see we now have the standby light. I was panicking a bit, so make sure you plug them in. Um, power cable back in, uh, transformer reconnected. Um, just a quick um, speaker and the adapter for testing purposes. Um, okay, so let's see if we get any sound. Uh, I've got a, um, with the times, test tape. <laughs> so anyone I could find, so power on. Okay, we have that opening up, um, open the deck. The deck opens. Um, pop in good old Humpty Dumpty and close that it's gone in and if we press play hopefully we'll get some sound yes brilliant right that's enough of that excellent it's worked so the problem was that single resistor as you can see there um, on the board that was blown Amazing, right, so I'll put the links into what I've used, um, and then I've got another deck that I bought, um, two for the price of one, and we'll see if we can find the fault with that one. And this is a Technics RSTR373. Thank you very much for watching, woohoo!